Buongiorno my soccer universe to the final part of the Serie A jersey review and probably the last jersey review uh, before Christmas as far as I see the schedule going. I will take a break and then we'll come back probably before I do a Champions League there will be an AFCON jersey review first. Yes we have an AFCON come 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 which is also exciting in itself. Exciting also all the jerseys that I put up there. I since Juve is the seeded team I put them up there. I was debating where I should put Atalanta, usually I would put them there, but I need this jersey in the video, so I'm sorry Atalantinos, the beautiful Ladea is here on the side, but it's a absolutely beautiful uh, jersey. Uh, also, speaking of beautiful jerseys, I'm wearing Venezia, I said, well, if they finally made it to Serie A again, uh, this may be the only time in this jersey review that I can wear this beautiful jersey, so... That's why it was not Bologna that I chose or Fiorentina, which are uh, also a really nice jersey in my collection. Also not you because you, I, I decided to not have the city teams in there. In any case, um, how we have loads of jerseys to look at. It's all down to Napoli. So uh, also Fiorentina. They have, the teams in this video have released a ton of jerseys, so we have to... Uh, get through it. So how did I choose the teams in this video? Well, I took last season standings and then I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on. Everyone with the number 4 next to it is in this video. So let's get cracking. I sort them alphabetically and that's why we start with Bologna. Macron, the original Macron team as I always call it. I really like this one that they had two seasons ago, I think, or three seasons ago. This is a really nice Bologna shirt. This one, uh, I do like that now uh, we're getting a little bit away from the darkish red. We saw this already with Genoa with a little bit of lighter red. So uh, this actually makes it really nice. They also make a very nice reference to the city of Bologna, if you've ever been. Underrated, but very beautiful town with all this this brick pattern on there, which of course is takes a reference to the you know they have these two huge towers that are kind of leaning towers also in there. Uh, make a reference to that one, so I, I really like that accent as well. Although with the strict nature of the stripes, it's maybe a little bit jarring, but you know I, I do like this one. Uh, the sponsor, yeah, so and so. The one thing though that I'm not sure is the sleeve cuffs and the collar. I do like that there's a little bit on there, but I think it's a little bit a tad too much. But there's something to like here. I'm gonna go with my favorite, favorite greatest for Serie A review, which is a 7 for uh, Bologna. The away jersey uh, simplifies the whole thing. But there is a really nice reference to the two leaning towers in there. It's only in this shadow, shadow pattern. If you look closer, there's a little bit of a shadow pattern in there that says Bologna, 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 but it's always cut. And this is kind of the uh, shape of the two towers. So I find this pretty cool. Now for the sleeve cuffs, uh, they are more blue than they are red. And maybe this is one thing where I'm thinking, maybe balancing it out could have helped this shirt a lot. Uh, and again, sp sponsor a little bit, but... I think I like the ref the reference either, but it's not a seven star jersey. It's more six star jerseys for me. However, the away at uh, the third shirt in yellow makes a whole lot of sense. And B, I really like you have kind of the club's colors of sash, and then it kind of disintegrates onto it. Could it continue? Maybe, but you know, this is a nice way to kind of have the sponsor in there and it's still uh, working fine. I like that the three primary colors are in the, in the shirt and also the crest does not look. I do like this one. Similar problem with the um, sleeve cuffs, but here, since it's yellow and then you have both colors, it actually looks quite nice. Um, I'm gonna go eight here. I do like this one. I actually wouldn't mind pick, picking this one up because it is a little bit different. I think we go right over the Apennine, you know, Apennine Derby from Bologna, south over the mountains to Fiorentina. And one of the more spectacular sets this season, um, they are taking the book straight out of the 80s, they brought back the 80s crest, which I'm always wondering. Um, I really like that they take the um, lily from Florence and combine it with an F, I think that is a genius idea. The one thing is there is a little bit of symmetry loss, so I'm always a little bit uh, debating is it great or is it actually awful. What I know is I want to have one of these church uh, jerseys and I have a little lad, you know, with which one I also like that they took a kind of an 80s inspired design with the um, uh, white band and then uh, a little bit uh, outlined as well and it also have enough space for the sponsor to be in there. A little bit of tinge of red which is always nice for Fiorentina as an X color. This is a 
pretty nice shirt overall uh and i love that media com is on there and fiorentina they really uh, the owner of your dealer really wants to bring them forward and is really hampered by <laughs> the bureaucracy there. But uh, it's a strong look and uh, if they continue, if Kappa continues like, like, like this, we will see a whole lot of great shirts. So 8 here. The away jersey, I like the crest here better. I like also the purple. Uh, I really do like this one a tad better. And I know there's the red missing except for the figure, but um, there's nothing wrong with that one. It's this, you know, white club colors you always got a great uh, get a great shirt i'm sorry nine stars i really like like i also liked uh i'm always debating is it the yellow or is it the white now given that i have so many white jerseys uh from syria maybe there's not too too many here but you know i have this one and and so i actually would like to have this yellow one i love this one uh it is to me as strong maybe not as uh striking as the white one but the yellow and then maybe i was debating but uh should the inside you know there's purple then white then purple white purple instead of the white could there be yellow no but i think that the white has its uh it should be there to make it more interesting so that's why i really like this one and this is the one that i have my eyes on i know some will say the colors don't quite fit together but i think it's pretty nice I love that one, so I'm I, I'm gonna go nine, and then of course they take. We have a fourth charger as well, does similar stuff, in red. Total makes sense. It's not as great as the cross, to be honest, and also the, with the purple and so. Same stuff, same set in, in in a way, but I take it more down. I actually like this one least of all of them, despite it being red. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna go seven here because uh, just some things are not quite one hundred hundred right. Overall, a uh, pretty outstanding, cohesive set where you can mix and match, and that's what I love. And you can also use any of the these shirts also as goalkeeper sets. So Fiorentina have, and uh, Kappa have done an outstanding job. And on top of that, you can get those for a rather really reasonable price, especially if you take the a regular fit version. Those you can get for 40 euros off the Kappa web website. So uh, that's a pretty sweet deal that they are doing there. Now, going from Fiorentina, we go to their bitter rivals, although you will probably will not care all that much about it. And we're gonna get one of the best Juve shirts in the recent years. And, you know, Cristiano came in and they had one, I don't want to say awful, but one contentious Juve design after another. Cristiano leaves, yes, he was wearing that in the Cow Cup final, and they come out with a perfect Juve striping. This is how I like a Juve shirt, or this way. But I don't love it. Um, I actually would have said I would get this one. I mean, there is in the, um, this is the player ver version. There's a, a kind of a weird sh sh shadow pattern with, uh, with a star in there, uh, which I think is all right. The color is not 100% to my liking, but what ruins this jersey is the 4XE below, beyond the cheap. Just, just the cheap alone and you have a wonderful, and I would probably even consider almost a 10 star, but the color the, would be a nine star jersey. But the Jeep 4XE is the 4XE is just a sore spot here. And we'll make maybe to reverse that uh, our neighbors that I don't like that much are exactly that uh, you know they're driving exactly a Jeep 4XE. So every, every, every time I see the jersey, I'm reminded of them. It's not going to enter my coll uh, collection, but I gotta give them credit for the overall design. The sponsor, yeah, maybe a little bit hypocritical about what they did, 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 but I think. I'm going to take it down from a uh, 9 to an 8 star here. Uh, but I love Juve back in stripes. The, th the away jersey, though, I don't get. I don't get all this coloring. This is not a Juve jersey. I mean, this is a fashion jer uh, jersey, and this will be some, something we're coming back to it. I I don't mind a black Juve jersey, but this there are too many colors uh, added on there, and not in a very attractive way. And then you have the Jeep 4 xe Not my thing. Absolutely not. I actually think this is, uh, yeah, to me this is on par with the Milan third jersey too, to be honest, three stars only, yeah. Uh, and then the third jersey, okay, the colors are definitely more Juve. I think Juve tried to do something what Inter did with their fourth jersey, which didn't review, but it's kind of a cheapish version. Um, but I think they took all the mistakes because uh, Inter had trouble wearing this on field because they have a, no color was dominant, so they needed to make the colors one color more dominant. 
The 4XE again sticks out like a sore thumb, never should be on there. But overall, I actually think there's something there that I do uh, like, but it's not a great jersey. I'm so I'm gonna go to five. You see, I'm a little bit speeding because now we're going to Napoli and we have to have to talk about a total of seven jerseys. We also have to talk about the fact that Napoli uh, does not have Kappa anymore, but is now with Amporio Armani. So uh, when I was, you know, 20 years ago, I always thought, oh, it would be really nice to get an Armani suit. Meanwhile, I don't wear suits anymore. I wear these things. So uh, it seems like the perfect time to pick it up. But not only are those jerseys rather underwhelming, they are sold at an incredible price of 120 euros. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts for just... Uh, you pay for the EA7, you pay uh, at least 30 extra euros. And I know this is very much down to the owner of Napoli. They are just fleecing the fans in, 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 in many ways. And many collectors just keep buying these. And I'm saying, yes, I would like to have something Armani, but not this way. Not this way. This is a boring shirt. In many ways, absolutely boring. I mean, if this was white, I think I could like, like this whole, a whole lot more. I still don't understand why Lete wants to be red, I guess is the company color, okay? <sighs> underwhelming, absolutely underwhelming. Uh, a four, you know, four star, I don't even find the accents, accents right. Um, and then the away jersey, give me at least a light blue. No, this is gold up there. This is not even Napoli shirt. And, you know, me giving a white jersey, not many, uh, not a high rate, is really, but uh, no, this is... Uh, actually, actually, there's so, so many kind of, I have to, I have to give, give, give this a three. The best one actually might be the third jersey in red with the light blue accents of the regular kids. But it's still not great, but at least it all looks kind of cohesive here. I am willing to give this six stars. And now we go into all the alternates that they are worn once or twice and so on. Um, and I decide, yeah, the, the ones in the league. I mean, there are three more in Europe released, which all have golden accents, uh, by the way. We have the first, the worst first ever Halloween jersey. Also doesn't look Napoli, but I do like, okay, there's the spider webs on there. Um, but they take too much of the red from the sponsor that they also reflect in the crest. And then... I wonder, shouldn't you make the Napoli crest in red? I mean, if you looked at it on the backside of the jersey, the numbers were even red. So it really didn't look Napoli in many ways. And are the Halloween uh, colors black and orange? So shouldn't all the red be orange in a way? So uh, there were certain things that just didn't work out for me all that much. And why is Napoli making a Halloween jersey? Maybe, please enlighten me. Maybe this is big in Naples. Uh, to me, it seems like what it is, a cash grab. And not a very good one, but I do like a little bit of the inventiveness there. <sighs> it's not more than five stars, honestly. It's not. Uh, and then we go to what they were wearing <laughs> all November long. The Maradona Trilogy. Um, and there's also a backstory where kind of the family or said we didn't even re uh, approve that his face and his fingerprint is used. Okay, that aside. Tribute to Maradona, your greatest ever player great idea. Uh, it was kind of a little bit bad luck that this Argentina type Napoli jersey that I really love this one. This was to me the fitting tribute and that this was worn the first time that he actually died. Um, yeah, bittersweet, but it actually was so fitting and they then kept on wearing it. Great. However, if you want to put Maradona's face on a jersey, make it at least look cohesive on the navy blue and if this was the third choice navy, 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 navy blue with the light blue i actually think uh without the maradona i actually would pick this up not for 120 but i probably would even pick this up because this looks really nice my problem is that the fingerprint it adds too much white to it and then it looks a little bit off doesn't it to me it totally does uh it does not look Super, super, super nice. Yes, it makes Maradona stick out a little, a, 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 a little bit more. But to me, it's not very cohesive. It just means seems slapped on there. Totally slapped, slapped on there. But it's the best we've seen so far. Seven, seven stars. Now, same thing, same motif in white. Actually, this one makes sense. This one is of all the ones that we that were that were issued. I think the best one because you have the. Graphic was white. You have Maradona. It's kind of an exit. It really works well. This is the perfect tribute. 
Would I pay the 150 euros that they were charging for this? Never. Never. 150 euros is crazy. If you got one, congratulations. It's probably the pride of your co collection. And I totally get that one. For me, 150, charging 150 is outrageous. And why do you limit this? You could make more cash if you make a larger print of this. I think they only make 19, 26 or whatever, you know, like the year of founding. Nah, uh, make more. People want to buy this stuff and then charge uh, 70 and you sell even more. This is fleecing of the fans. That's the problem I have. Design-wise, I think this is pretty outstanding. This is almost a perfect Maradona tribute. Nah, nah blue jersey. I'm going to give this a 9 star. And not too far off is actually then the home jersey that they had, that they're wearing against Roma in light blue and they had a fitting tribute I think this one looks real this is how I would like to see the home jersey uh blue with a little bit white have the print on or not I think it looks good they even did it smart I mean uh to have the you know the Diego is black and white here on, on, on the other says the Argentina jersey is actually uh, in uh, light blue. Um, going back, back and forth, but I think they did it overall really, really smart here. It's another one. It's not as cohesive as the uh, white one, but this was an eight star. So uh, Armani is doing Armani things, especially right here. Uh, but at least the tribute jerseys look all right -ish overall. I still think their price is outrageous. And yeah, fashion statement. That's also what we're going to say for the last entry on this list, which is Venezia. <sighs> I can repeat what I said for the Inter jersey. This Venezia home shirt, to me, is a perfect third jersey. Why? And I have to say, why do I love this jersey so much? Because it is a very simple style. And it has all the three clubs colors in equal proportions. Here we just have black. That's what I don't like about this one. However, the golden accents, great. Uh, the stars, so and so. It, it, it definitely is more like a fashion jersey. It's not like a soccer jersey, jersey in any way. I do like that they make kind of this, uh, it looks like a wall of a black building from, you know, the um, uh, St. Mark's Cathedral and so on. Uh, so I do like that a whole lot. I mean, there's a lot of reference and it looks very interesting. Uh, I will give it that. I have a big thing, but this is more on Serie A. You have a restylist crest and I have to say the Venezia crest, although nice, is not all that great. They have here a nicer one. They cannot wear it in the league because you have Venezia. And this to me, this is not a knock on this church. Uh, this is more Serie A rules. Why are you doing that? Do you want to have a betting sponsor here? In order for this crest to be worn, this looks so classy and now you cannot have this logo because uh, the crest and Venezia, this is the same, uh, it, it, it is a symbol of the club. I mean, this doesn't make any sense to me, really. Slight accent colors, I said, as a third jersey, I would love this. I think I what, what attracted me to this and most of the other Venezia jerseys that they took all three colors and kind of combined and made it really nice. Here, this black is more a third jersey. jersey. I mean, it's definitely more one for, and you know, if you saw the promo pics with the model, blah, 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 and so on, yeah, it is made for fashion and for the uh, tourists and so on. It's not really made in that sense for soccer. So. Yeah, uh, I'm hit, hit, hit and miss. There's a lot to like here. It's a great looking shirt, but it's not a Venezia home jersey. Am I too crazy if I... Uh, let's give it eight. I was about to give seven. Let's give it eight stars. It doesn't go to the 10 stars here, honestly. Now, the away jersey is one that, honestly, I, I know what they're trying to do. But why are the triangles there? I actually like the gradient here, but I think if you keep them at the bottom just white, uh, the cut here is also weird. Let the regular sleeves go all over. Uh, so yeah, I heard uh, say this is a Marmite jersey, and yes, I would I would agree with it. To me, it's not very attractive, to be honest. Although it, it's the only one that has all the club's colors prominently featured, but it tries too much, honestly. Again, more for fashion. I'm not a fashion guy, so I, yeah. Nah, I just don't like it. It's unfortunately, it's only a four star jersey to me. Uh, the third jersey is the one that I don't like and I don't get light blue and then this shape on there. Doesn't make any sense. You know, you have orange, you have green, use these colors. 
use these colors, make this a green one and have a little bit orange. Why do you need to carry another color in there? This is one of the least cohesive jerseys. I, I really don't, don't like this one. I actually want to go two stars here. I, I do not like this one. Um, I actually, the second best is uh, the red one here. And I mourn, it should be orange in my, I know why it's red. It's a reference to the flag of the Republic of Venice. It looks to me really nice. I like the red and the black. Uh, yeah, Milan fan. I like the red and, and, and the black. This is a really well styled. I also like the gold on there. This is the one uh, of those four. I th probably would pick this one. You cannot get them at, at the moment. But this one I really like. But the red is not one of your colors. And that's a little bit the, uh, what I mourn a little bit. If this was an orange one, I think I would like it better. I know orange and gold doesn't look well together. So I know why I took the red here and I give it, I, I say yes, it does look, uh, it looks nice overall. It is my favorite, but a little bit more, we did not get any green jersey, any orange jersey or any that combines very well the, the three colors. The away jersey tries to do it, but makes a mess out of, out of, out of it. So, well, I'm happy that Venezia is in there. I'm not very pleased with their jerseys, but I'm going to give this eight stars. Yeah, I gave you a lot of stuff to discuss here. Loads of jerseys that we're talking. It's not the longest video, which I'm a little bit proud, proud of. In any case, I would like to know which of these jerseys in here did you like? I have to say, Serie A review, we barely saw any bad jerseys. So that's a plus. I think Serie A is probably, I have, have to do this, probably the best looking league. That might be a poll that I want to pull out as well. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know below which jersey in here did you like, where do you agree, where do you disagree with me. I really would like to know because we have a lot of special shirts in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon with some other review for jerseys or maybe some other jersey related stuff or what's happening in football. In any case, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!